So we have us today a Synology 1815 server. And the purpose of this video is just to show you how to create a folder that you want to share with other users within your Synology uh, server. So basically you're going to create a folder as you would normally do. Let's call this test, uh, test folder. And then once you create it, the folder will be there. Now you have to right click on it and go to the properties and just double check what was done to this folder. So if you can look at this, uh, who the owner is, that would be yourself. And a group of users will have access to it. So first thing I wanna do, if I wanna share this folder fully with the users group, which means everybody on this specific uh, server that is a user with credentials, it'll share it with them. If you wanna have just a specific group of people, then you'll create a group, add those people to that group. Uh, let's say it's your department specifically, and then you would just then uh, share it directly with them. Uh, but let's assume you wanna share it with everybody on your server, because you want everybody to have access to the files and manipulate them, drop files, and so forth. So what you wanna do is make sure that the general tab, uh, the group of users is also there, which by default, that's what it does. Then select that option, I'll click on apply to this folder, and then very important, you gotta to go to permission. And in the permission, if you notice, you are the owner. The owner has full access, which is read, write, and execute. But the group has only read and execute, which basically is just gonna allow them to do certain things. You want to make sure that you select right uh, option to the group, and in this case, is the users group. Once you do that, uh, go ahead and also uh, check that one. If you create new folders, you might want to come and double check that these properties are given for the users group. Otherwise, they won't be able to manipulate the file. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and save this. If I create another folder, uh, test just a test folder within that subfolder. I want to make sure too, even, even though I have given those permissions, that I will apply those. Because th those, when, when I do this, it applies for anything that has, had already been there to begin with. So you want to make sure that you do this uh, just to make sure, because otherwise they will not get those, that, that extra permission, which is to write. And again, same thing, do apply and write and apply here at the bottom too. And there it goes. So that way the group of users in general will be getting the right to manipulate the files, not just see what's there or read what's there. But in this case, you wanna collaborate. So that means that you want them to also write to that folder or and subfolders and files that exist within those folders. That should allow you to share uh, your folder properly with other users within the Synology box.